was a great college football game, and you hate for anyone to lose in that situation, especially the way it happened. Rodrigo Blankenship has been, is and has been an unbelievable representative of the University of Georgia and kicker. And, uh, just, just heart goes out to him and losing in that fashion. He's, a, he's an outstanding young man, and he's about all the right things in college athletics. But really proud of our guys. You know, you show a lot of metal, <clears throat> a lot of toughness. You talk in terms of the character of the program, the culture of the program, the leadership of the program, uh, and, and the character of the young men in that locker room. You know, we've been through a lot this year. We hadn't, we've been very inconsistent to this point. And the bottom line is we did what we had to do to win the ball game. You know, Ryan gets hurt, the carry on comes in, and Gutsy has held performance. You know, he's been limited in practice, hasn't been able to do a lot as far as those things are concerned. I thought Brian did a really good job of adjusting to, to get some things where he could. You know, it's hard. You don't rep, rep much as the backup quarterback. You just don't. You don't get the many turns and reps. And I thought the carry on just came in and fought his butt off. I'm so proud of him. Uh, you know, defensively got some turnovers. That's what we needed. Scored on defense. Got the game in overtime. Of course, you know, we missed the field goal. And, you know, heart's breaking for Parker right there. And just give us another chance. Went for it on fourth down. I feel like we needed a, a touchdown in that situation. We were a little fatigued defensively. Uh, you know, and Jake was throwing the ball extremely well and throwing the ball in some really tight areas. You know, he completed some balls that we had, thought we had good coverage and give them credit. They made some plays in the throwing game as far as those things were concerned. But, uh, hey, our kids fought their ass off. You know, you, you can't question uh, that as far as our football team is concerned and how hard they play. Uh, we need to be a little more consistent and uh, figure some things out moving forward. But we're going to enjoy tonight and start getting ready for Florida tomorrow. And they've got a good football team. So I'll open it up for any questions. If Will Health, Ryan. I think he, I'm not sure. You know, we'll find out more. I mean, he was uh, just not moving well enough to protect himself, and that was the reason why we took him out. It was not that we feel like there's any severe injury or anything. He just wasn't moving well enough to protect himself. And the health of the student athlete is the most important thing. And to me, it's about tackling. You know, those guys they have really good backs. They finish runs. Swift finished a bunch of runs on us. You know, you're sitting there after a first down run, and I'm thinking, all right, it's second and eight, and Kyle Krantz comes over the headset and says second and six. I'm like, damn, he gained two more yards. So we got to get his cleats out of the dirt better, but we tackled well on defense here. You know, we really tackled well today. I, you know, go back and watch the Notre Dame game. They held him to 23 points. I think it was 146 or 152 yards rushing. It, it all comes down to tackling and to getting guys on the ground. We didn't have any explosive runs. You know, we did. Swift had one at 14 and White had one at 12. So. Um, but nothing that, that was a there was a huge momentum or field position changer, you know, as far as those things are concerned. Well, just how good does this feel to you to get that marquee win against the top five team, your your alma mater at their place, your twenty five point underdog? I could care less about Will Muschamp. I'm really happy for our players. I'm happy for a staff that works its ass off. I'm happy for our fan base so they can enjoy the week and uh, and, and that's really what it's all about to me, but it's never about me. Well, sometimes the results don't always equal where you are, you know, and, and that's, uh, you know, I always try to tell the players it's not always about the distance, it's about the direction where you're headed. And I always felt like we were headed in the right path, so I always felt like we have the right people in the building to be successful. And, um, and it's been frustrating. It really has. Uh, you know, it hurts the staff that works extremely hard and these young men extremely hard, and I, and I hate it for our fan base. But, you know, today was a good win for us. Uh, we got to build off of it. You know, how are we going to handle this? You know, that's that's going to be a question I have for our football team moving forward. We need to handle this the right way, and understand our preparation helped us win this ball game, and how we practice, and how we go about our our business. That's that's how you win games. That's how you prepare, and uh, that's what we've got to continue to do. So, you know, the the one interception on the touchdown there was really good pressure. So that's that's the best pass defense in America is pressure, and I think that you know he was able to, to make a play on the ball and return to the end zone. The tip ball was a nice, he broke on the ball well. And then I think on the on the back shoulder ball was something that they do a lot. I'm not sure what was what happened on that play. I don't know if that was a miscommunication between the quarterback and receiver. I don't know. But he made a really nice play because that's a very difficult ball to defend. And he played it perfectly from what I my vantage point on the sideline. So, no, he continues to be very productive. And we've got to all continue to be very productive. Well, he's a fantastic player and, and very uncharacteristic. But we were able to get some pressure, which I don't care how many snaps and turn has has. When you have a lot of pressure, we were able to. The one under to Israel, Javon Kinlaw, had a huge rush inside. Uh, the ball was a tip ball in the spacing concept in overtime that Israel uh, picked off on that ball. And I think there was a miscommunication between the receiver and Jake on the, on the back shoulder ball on their sideline, in my opinion. I don't, I don't know that, but that's what I thought.